Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in this beautiful planet of ours. This is Mark Lane Hart, the Intuitive Prospector, here on the Ohm Times Institute page, uh, getting ready for another Metaphysical Mocha Monday with Mark here on Ohm Times. Uh, I just want to welcome all the spiritual prospectors that join me every Monday uh, here at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. Uh, I was off last week, so I am back. I was actually on vacation down in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, something that I do is I go down every year uh, with uh, some good friends of mine and we watch the uh, basketball tournament. So it's a lot of fun. And uh, go Gonzaga. It's a small small Jesuit school that I uh, grew up with in Spokane, Washington, where I'm originally from, and it's become an elite program in, in, in men's college basketball and women's college basketball. So we go down every year, and we watch them in the tournament and just have a good time and uh, just take a break. So I'm happy to be back. It's Monday morning. So with that, uh, you need to grab your cup of coffee. You need to grab your cup of tea. Uh, I will be heading over at 8.30 uh, to my Intuitive Prospector page. The link is now below. If you want to join me with a direct Q&A, that's a direct uh, conversation with me uh, where we can have a spiritual chat, a conversation. Uh, I do uh, free readings, uh, pull a card for you for the week, inspiration. Uh, that is my goal. That is my job as an inspirer uh, and as a uh, light worker is to help people and inspire people. So if you guys uh, wouldn't mind... Um, this morning. I got a little bit of a late start because the backdrop behind me <laughs> decided to fall over. Uh, so I, I like to have the, the nature uh, backdrop behind me, but the thing that I prop it up actually uh, fell off and the whole thing went down. So that's why I was a few minutes late. So maybe the spirit world's already working with me today. So how are you guys doing? Let me know where you're from. Let me know if you've joined uh, Metaphysical Mocha Mondays with me before. Uh, if you have, welcome back. If this is your first time joining, thank you so much for being here. This morning I'm going to be talking about build, uh, building bridges uh, and not bubbles. So build bridges, not bubbles. Because I'm just finding that a lot of us are in our own um, tribe, if you will. Uh, a lot of us see the world through our own lens. And we don't take the time to see the world through other people's lenses and other people's perspectives. And this morning, you know, I just, uh, I've had a lot of uh, things that I've seen lately. And I thought it would be good to just have a reminder to build bridges, not bubbles. Because when you put yourself in that bubble, uh, you really isolate yourself and you don't grow and you don't transform. So uh, it was fitting too, because this morning I grabbed my little uh, Death Star uh, cup because this is representation of destroying things and so this morning I thought it'd be funny to have my little Death Star coffee because we're building things not destroying things we're building people up we're building things up we're not destroying um, and, I, and I did a study a couple of weeks ago just on with everything that's going on from politics to religion to gun control everybody has their opinions and everybody's entitled to your opinion of course uh, but what I see is a lot of uh, div um, defensiveness, um, people being divisive and trying to separate people. And I thought it would be just a good message to uh, talk about building bridges, uh, not um, uh, building bubbles. So just want to make sure that we're live on the page. If everybody can hear me okay, please uh, give me some likes or give me some hearts. Just want to make sure that we are broadcasting okay. Uh, looks like we are live, so just want to make sure that there is a video feed going out. And I'm checking the Facebook page. If you guys want to subscribe, uh, there is a there's a um, notification that you can turn on uh, when I go live on Metaphysical Mocha Mondays. Uh, you can turn that on, get notification of when I'm giving these 30-minute uh, inspirational uh, spiritual chats, um, guidance. And I will give you a spirit totem animal for the week. I will also give you a crystal or a prospecting stone for the week to something to try. See if it works for you. It may not. It may not do anything for you. Or it could change the world for you. Uh, I'm going to also give you a number to work with from numerology. So uh, grab your coffee. Grab your tea. Let's have a little spiritual chat. Let's talk about this morning about building bridges and not building bubbles because a lot of things change. It was interesting. Um, there's uh, some scientists that are uh, working. Um, uh, I was reading an article, and that's what this was a kind of. This is what kind of got me inspired to talk about this today about building bridges, because bridges lead you to somewhere uh, that you normally can't get to. If you think of the concept of a bridge, a bridge usually if you come to a river, you're not going to swim across it. Well, you could, but if it's cold, you're not going to. 
Um, and in order to get over that forge, you need to have something that's going to carry you over. So, but the, you know, the definition of building a bridge is to take you to new uh, places to meet new people. When you put yourself in a bubble, uh, you're isolating yourself. And with isolation comes loneliness, comes depression, comes anger, comes fear. And it's really a difficult place to, to be. And one of the things that inspired me in my meditations this morning uh, is there's uh, some, uh, they're doing in Boston, they're doing uh, some experiments on trying to burst the social media bubbles. And we saw a lot of that with the presidential election, um, Hillary people versus Trump people. Uh, we see that with the gun control. I even did an experiment myself just to see what kind of comments I would get based on uh, making a change. I don't know, I don't have the answers. I don't have all the answers for gun control, but something has to change because you know the, the violence and the, and the death and dying that's taking place is something that we need to change to make our country and our schools and our children safe for it so that the future generations can continue on. So you got to have a, a, a conversation, a mindful conversation, a uh, compassionate uh, conversation, and have middle ground for everybody in order to make change. Otherwise, it's just a dictatorship, and in democracy, we don't work that way. But these Boston Tech uh, experiments that they were doing in Boston um, at the Harvard Business School was looking at how to bring people together um, because we, we tend to have more in common, believe it or not, than we do apart. We just get into our, we see the world through our lens, we put ourselves in these bubble. Uh, there's even a book that talks about the tribes, the, the tribes that we get into. We're very tribal. We want to belong uh, to something. We want to belong to a group. We want to have our family. And most, most of the times people talk about how important their family is. And we all have that in common, that our families are very important. But when we get into our tribe and when we get into our own lens, our own bubble, we, we're only going to believe what we see, um, you know, what we see through our lens. And we're not open to see other perspectives and other stories and other people that may have suffered. Um, so it was interesting when I put a post out for the gun control because I've been directly impacted myself. My family's been impacted by um, guns. Uh, you know, a gun took my brother, uh, killed my brother at the young age of 21. So we understand. I own guns. I'm a Second Amendment person. But I put a, a post out just to see what kind of uh, response I would get through social media. And that's, that's part of the problem is social media is creating these tribes. It's creating these bubbles, right? And I was wanted to have conversations that would build bridges, um, not... Um, you know, try to point the finger at anybody at the NRA, Second Amendment, um, you know, uh, gun lobbyists, uh, people that want guns taken away, people that want to have teachers uh, be armed with guns. I just put out a, a, a general um, picture showing the cycle of uh, things that aren't working. And I tell you, some of the comments I got from people was very disruptive, very divisive. And I kept trying to come back, and they, they kept trying to make it personal against me. And it wasn't about being personal. It was actually trying to bring people together and have a conversation. And it was a good example of how people are in their own tribe, in their own bubble, and how they see the world through their own lens. So this morning, I wanted to give you some insights about how all the religions around the world, I'm spiritual, I'm not uh, necessarily religious. I used to be, uh, I was raised Catholic, but I don't follow that that path anymore. And religion is about studying the world and being a student of life and connecting with the spirit world uh, on many different planes and connecting with something bigger than myself and not necessarily getting caught up in dogmas or what one book says when there's many books with lots of wisdom. Um, but it was interesting because the study that they're doing that got me thinking about this is, you know, they talked about if technology, the technology that we have here today, I'm talking to you through Facebook Live right now, uh, and we've created this technology. And if this technology uh, creates this problem of, of people having their own lenses or supporting their own Facebook groups or their own tribe, if you will, and won't be open to any other things, it, it, it divides people. And what they're trying to do is um, look at the research uh, to find ways to bring people to a more a civil offline conversation and get involved with um, you know your schools if you go to church you know get involved with your churches about having offline conversations because they're finding that people can be very bold in in uh, direct in their comments online you know through a keyboard you know people can be behind, hide behind their keyboard if you will versus having a direct conversation and again bringing people that have two different spectrums two different perspectives of something and bringing them together to have a conscious conversation for change because we're all trying at the end of the day we're a species that's trying to 
uh, evolve, to grow, transform, make this world a better place for everybody, a quality for all. Uh, I like to say that I'm a humanitarian, so taking care of the planet, taking care of the generations that are behind us, and we're not doing a very good job right now, guys. We're doing actually a pretty poor job. So we need to start having some conversations uh, that make change, but doing it not just through social media. Do it in forums, whether you know the media's been good and bad at, at doing that, at town halls, uh, through your local community centers, your churches, uh, just one-on-one -on -one with your friends, uh, the people maybe that you work out with at the health club, and having more conversations versus hiding behind the keyboard of social media because, again, they're just finding that technology has created this problem, uh, but we can use technology in some way to fix this problem as well. So um, today's message, building bridges, not bubbles. Um, please uh, subscribe uh, to um, this feed if you like it. It's uh, grassroots grown, so we, we've grown through uh, the Ohm Times Institute page. Um, been second season now of Metaphysical Mocha Mondays. Uh, if you're more interested in, in finding out about the spiritual work that I do, uh, you can find me a few different places. You can find me at marklaneheart.com. You can internet search the Intuitive Prospector. You can find me through Best American Psychics best psychic directory and now I'm also part of Ariel spiritual community those are the three that I'm affiliated with um, but if you go to marklaneheart.com it's kind of the one-stop shop to get to any of my events my spiritual hikes uh, that are coming up also my radio show inspired living radio every wisdom Wednesday uh, it's an internet based show where we uh, have amazing guests and you can call in and interact with us it's a lot of fun it's called inspired living radio uh, but just go to marklaneheart.com for all of the links and all of the uh, information and please subscribe to my YouTube library I'm, I'm heading for a hundred subscribers a whole a whole hundred but I started with one and uh, that's where all the videos are so metaphysical mocha Mondays some of my favorite videos that I've done some of my soul adventures that I've shared with people uh, from my travel adventures around the world and all of course three seasons of inspired living radio all the shows are loaded there so please subscribe to my YouTube library uh, which is the intuitive prospector or Mark Lane Hart love to have you be a spiritual prospector on board for your own spiritual goal so one of the things that I found fascinating uh, in looking at a few rules for life um, is the six rules of life, something that I kind of uh, abide by and something that helps me build bridges. Because I'll be honest with you, back in the day, I was not very good at building bridges and would put myself into a bubble. Um, but one of, the, one of the six rules that I try to follow is uh, before I pray, I believe in what I'm trying to do. I, I believe that energy follows your intent. And for me, prayer is thought going out. Meditation is, is listening back for those answers of what you want. Um, before you speak, listen. That's why we have two ears and one mouth. Uh, trying to, uh, I think that comes with age too. I was always, when I was younger, uh, very vocal, very um, uh, outspoken. And now as I get older, I try to be more of an observer versus reacting to things and listen more. So before you speak, listen. And these are just kind of the, the rules of life that I am sharing with you. Uh, before you spend, earn, uh, debt can put you into some very uh, compromising situations, especially if people are in debt. You have to work harder to, take, to pay for the things that you can't take with you anyway. Uh, before you write, think about what you're writing, so that whether that's through social media, think about what you're writing because your words do matter. Um, before you quit, try. Um, give it a try. Next week I'll be talking about a fun subject about trying something scary every day of your life. Um, and I was going to talk about this week, but I was inspired to talk about uh, building bridges, not bubbles for this week. And the last but not least, uh, another rule is before you die, learn to live. I always like to say dare to dream, dare to explore, dare to live uh, because life is short. So again, before you pray, believe. Before you speak, listen. Before you spend, earn uh, before you write think and before you quit give it a try give it a go and before you die live those are six rules to live by and one of the things that you know when we talk about the golden rule again we're building bridges not bubbles one of the golden rules I looked at all the religions around the world and I found that um, even though you're in different parts of the world and the religion has different history different writings different dogmas um, I found that the golden rule applies to all of the different main religions around the world. So for example, you take Buddhism. The golden rule of Buddhism, hurt not others with that which pains yourself. 
Um, if you look at Christianity, and I know this because I live in the West, of, I'm here in Seattle, Washington, so I know Christianity because that's where I was raised. And a lot of times we're raised with belief systems based on where we're at in the world. So I'm here in Seattle. Christianity is very big in the West. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Uh, if you go all the way across the world and you study Hinduism, it talks about treat others as you would yourself be treated. And again, this is the golden rule of life. One of the, the most important rules of life is to treat others how you like to be treated. And you do that by building bridges, not bubbles. Uh, if you study Islam, Islam says, do unto all men as you would wish to have done unto you. Uh, Judaism, uh, you know, we're talking some of the biggest religions in the world. What you yourself hate, do to no man. Uh, Native American, if you apply the Native American, and I follow Native American and shamanism very closely, uh, live in harmony for we are all related. Uh, and of course, if you get into Mother Earth or Gaia, Sacred Earth, do as you will as long as you harm no one. So again, these are the golden rules from different parts of the world, different perspectives, but they all have the same message. And I always find that religion is one truth, just many different, or one record, if you will, but just different songs on that same record, but that record is love and the golden rule of do unto others as you would do unto yourself or hurt no others with which pains yourself or live in harmony for we are all related. And part of the reason that we're seeing a lot of the chaos today and part of the reason that we're seeing things out of balance is because we are not living in harmony. We are doing harm to our planet. We are doing harm to other people. We are doing harm uh, to um, different things in society that we're just, it, it's just, it's out of balance. It's out of whack. And with anything, if I've learned as a student of life and a student of history, history does repeat itself just in different ways. So if we need to come back and reset to find a more uh, balanced base, um, then I guarantee you, just like nature always completes its process in its own due time, history will do that for the human species as well. So those are just some of the things that I, I wanted to share this morning. I'm going to give you the spirit totem animal, uh, things to look for. It's funny, I was when I was golfing uh, last week in Vegas, uh, I actually was on the course and a coyote actually came onto the course, uh, decided to, um, you know, uh, uh, urinate right in front of us almost like it was marking its territory and then walked on but I took that as a spirit animal connection because I don't see coyotes especially on golf courses I don't think I've ever seen a coyote when I'm golfing on a golf course so that was definitely a first for me but I took it as my sign for the week um, so if you want to look up coyote you can I did uh, but this week is the ch uh, the chinchilla um, the chinchilla is something to um, uh, pay attention to if you see the chinchilla uh, it's the totem animal spirit of the week for you. Uh, it's to investigate and consider donating some time, energy, or money to animal rights organization. And it's also telling you to trust your instincts on when you need to go forward, uh, when to retreat, and when it's the right time to act, and what the right course of action is. So I felt like somebody out there needed the chinchilla this morning. Um, it kind of looks like a... Um, if you don't know a chinchilla, I didn't know it before. I actually had it come through in a reading a couple months ago when I was seeing what looked like a squirrel. And I asked my client if she actually had a pet squirrel. And I said, it looked like a squirrel. And she said, uh, no, I had a chinchilla. So I learned what a chinchilla was uh, first, and, first and foremost. But the chinchilla, if it comes up, it's just telling you to think before you react. Um, observe before you make any decisions. And also consider giving your time to an animal organization, a charity, uh, something that will help bring harmony uh, and balance back into our very fast-paced, crazy world that we live in. It is very fast-paced and very crazy for sure. So if you guys want to join me, I'm going to be switching over to the Intuitive Prospector page here in about six minutes. Uh, that's the Intuitive Prospector page. That is my main business page. Uh, that's where you can have a direct conversation with me. I know that there are some comments that are popping up uh, this morning. I turn those off for this show so I can get to the inspiring message and uh, give you some of the things to think about, I guess, food for thought for the week. Uh, and it was too hard back in the day to try to say hi to everyone. Uh, so now that's why I have the Q&A show directly following this uh, Metaphysical Mocha Mondays. The only difference is I switch over to the Intuitive Prospector Facebook page. So if you want to uh, get on that page, just like it, follow it, subscribe to it. Love to have you come over and join me for a spiritual conversation.
So the crystal for the week. Uh, if anybody wants to put a picture of the chinchilla, please do so. That's what this spiritual community is for. Uh, the, uh, the prospecting stone of the week, the crystal uh, that I came um, across today is called uh, andite, andrite. It's A-N-H-Y-D-R-I-T-E. Uh, and I think I'm saying it right. Anhydrite. Anhydrite. Uh, it's from Italy. Um, I found this stone when I was going, uh, when I traveled, I've been to Italy three, three times now, and I love Italy. Uh, but it's a, it's a clear blue-gray um, stone. It's, it tends to be long and, sh and sheared, um, usually like short crystals, um, and you can get it from a specialty store. Uh, but its attributes is to give you strength on the physical plane. So if you feel like you're in a bubble and you need to break that bubble and you want to strengthen your bridges and building bridges, um, try this stone out. See if it works for you. Again, it's uh, anhydrite, A-N-H-Y-D-R-I-T-E. Um, it also uh, promotes acceptance of the physical body as a transient vessel for the soul, and it helps, uh, it helps you face with um, what tomorrow may bring. So it's actually a, um, a stone that helps you uh, prepare for tomorrow because when you're here on the uh, earth plane and you're in the physical body, it can be a tough place to be for some of you. Uh, I definitely understand. I definitely um, empathize. Um, so we want to find peace and uh, love and balance uh, for today because that's all your guarantee. There is no guarantees for tomorrow and you can't do anything about yesterday. Um, but it's also a stone that you can use when you're having difficulty coming to terms with uh, what we call incarnation, coming into the physical body and the, and the whole long for the post-death state. So, you know, wanting to get back to the spirit world. So uh, check out uh, Anhydrite. Uh, it's from Italy, cool stone to work with. Um, the card is right in conjunction with um, what I picked for the stone. It's uh, Perseverance. I know it's backward on the video, but it's a number four. So Perseverance is removing to the month of April, my birthday month, yes. Um, but Perseverance, the color of green, which is, uh, which is tied to the heart chakra. The heart chakra for me is, is one of the most important chakras out there because it does connect the physical world to the spiritual world and again it's just telling you to persevere so pay attention to the chinchilla pay attention to the number four um, month of April and also perseverance the color green and the prospecting stone uh, and hydrite if I'm saying that I'm sure somebody will let me know if I'm saying it wrong um, but just want to thank you for being here today uh, if you want to join me over on the Intuitive Prospector page for direct q and I'd love to, to talk with you, have a spiritual chat, and I will uh, be talking to each and every one of you that come over on that page. Uh, it's my way of giving back. It's my way of being in service uh, to others, to helping out uh, people, to helping out our planet, and part of the, uh, the work I was called to do. If you want to check out next Monday's show, I'll be back uh, regular time on air at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern here on the Ohm Times Institute page. Uh, if you want to catch out, uh, catch my live radio show on the internet, it's Inspired Living Radio through the Ohm Times Radio Network. It's called Inspired Living Radio with Mark and Kim. You can do an internet search to find that. Uh, we have fantastic guests, and we're already booked out through May, I believe. And uh, we'll be back on the air. You can join our Facebook page, Inspired Living Radio. Become an inspired listener where you can post your question. And if you're in the United States, you can call into our live call-in line and interact with us or our live guests. So it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun there. So um, I'm going to head over to the Intuitive Prospector page right now. I hope that you will uh, join me. And uh, if not, then have a fantastic rest of your week. Thanks for joining me this morning. Um, and until our next soul adventure, be kind, be caring, be compassionate. Namaste.